So Mary, take us forward 10 or even 15 years, and let's assume everything you want comes to pass. What does GM look like? I mean, for example, you've mentioned it as a software platform with other services that are attached to it. Uh, what percentage of the revenue will come from actually selling the vehicles as opposed to the services? I actually think that uh, we, if we f uh, fast forward 10 years, I think the software services, subscriptions, and the other adjacent businesses that we can uh, grow into because of the technology that we have will be uh, equal or greater than what we'll have from a you know from selling the vehicle. That that's my vision, and I think that's well um, well within reach when we look at the different total addressable markets and the businesses that we're entering. What does that do to margins? Do you expect higher margins on the services than you would normally get on a manufactured product? Well, we see it today, on our businesses like OnStar, we see uh, you know a, a higher margin profile than we do on uh, the actual vehicle, but let's not forget, you've got to sell that vehicle to, to have access to that. And that's where General Motors also, we have a reason uh, that people should believe that we're going to lead because we already sell more vehicles in this country than anyone else, uh, setting aside some of the limitations with semiconductors right now, and we have the highest loyalty. So when you look at the scale that we have, and then the software platform that we can, we can access because of that scale, that's where the growth, uh, I really think, is a huge opportunity for us. You are a traditional car company moving into this software business as opposed to what some people call a pure play that started out as software. What advantages and disadvantages do you have over against the people who are pure play who started out there? Well, I think the transformation that we've made over the last five years, it, has, it wasn't like we just woke up today and said, oh, we're going to be a software company. We have been on this journey. as We reorganized the way software is developed in the co company. We have brought in tremendous numbers of software engineers. And you know, we already have proof points out there. We launched the vehicle intelligent platform starting in 2019 with no issues. Uh, and that was all software done internally. So I think we already have many proof points that people will start to realize that we already are a software company and the fact that we have that capability and the fact that we have the hardware and the software and really the, the relationship with the customer I think is why we have a really bright future and, and I think people hopefully will start to see why we're in, um, you know, really in a position to capture that more quickly than others and especially pure play software companies.